All right, the EG4 Mini Split had a lot of people asking about it. How much power the thing is using in this cold weather? If you didn't see my last video, hey, I'll go ahead and link that above. And it was just basically showing the outside temperature and what kind of heat the unit was kicking out. You know, definitely works down in the 20s pretty good. And it worked down even lower than 20 for me. We don't run that thing all the time. We just run it to heat the room up when we need to. So basically what I did this morning, when it was probably about 25 degrees, I went on ahead and turned the unit on to heat up that room that we try to heat up a little more than our central unit does. And basically ran it for about 15, 16, 17 minutes, something like that. And I'll go ahead and show you right here how fast that temperature came up. All right, basically I'll pull an app up right here. And as you can see at 10.03, when I started the thing up, you know, it was pulling 400 and some watts to start. And we're gonna go ahead and, and kind of fast forward this thing a little bit, this screen recording and get this thing going a little faster. So I can basically show you, you know, how fast it goes up. So basically at 10.05, it was pulling out about 900 and some watts. And then by, you know, 10.07, it's pulling out a thousand watts as you can see and then it starts going back it starts ramping back down because you saw the temperature started out at 64 degrees in the room and it's already up at 1008 to 69 degrees and i got it set at 72 degrees so you can kind of see what power it's pulling the power's back down to 740 and this is ramping down ramping down ramping down now it's down to 680 at about 1011 and as you can see, as we run it out a few more minutes, because we're going to see where it's at at about 15 minutes out. So let's take it to uh, 1018. And as you can see right here at 1018, it's 620 watts. And then bam, it's going to drop down to 600 watts here in a second. And so 600, it kind of maintained after the 15 minute mark. You know, it was kind of, you know, the temperature is kind of going up and down, up and down, up and down. So it's trying to maintain, pulling about 600 watts with this EG4 uh, 12,000 a BTU unit. So basically everybody that wanted to know kind of what kind of power this thing pulls, it went up initially to about a thousand and it came back down to maintain at 600. And that's when it was 25 degrees outside. Must be ice fall off the top of my building here. It maintained the temperature, it brought the temperature right up in that ring to 72 degrees from 64 within a few minutes, basically like 10 minutes. And it came on up and it's 25 degrees outside. And it's blowing out a hundred and some degree uh, heat. So I'll go ahead and show you on here what the heat was that was coming out of the thing after about, I think it was about 10 minutes or something like that. I think it was like a hundred and some degrees. So as you can see, not bad at all for power uses for the EG4 mini split. And I definitely like the thing. I'm not running mine all the time because it just gets the room plenty hot where you want it to be. And it's just kind of supplemental from our central system, that, that one room, a, pe a lot of people might have a room in their house that it, thing just don't get as warm or as cool as all the other rooms, because this depends on where it's at in relation to the sun and everything else and how many vents that you have in the room. So that room that we have, I think it's on the, uh, I guess it's more on the, I guess the northeast corner of the house. It's not getting that sun most of the day like a lot of the house is. It's kind of just in the corner away from the sun most of the time, just by the way our house is set up. So these mini splits, you know, like I said, they will work down where it gets fairly cold. You know, if you were live in the north or somewhere where it's getting really, really cold, you know, there's going to be times that the thing's not going to be efficient at all. It's not going to barely uh, heat up your room from what I've heard. But down in the low 20s, the high teens, I have seen this thing working. So, you know, I can recommend it down to that, you know, much lower than 15 degrees or something like that. It's probably not going to be worth it to have the mini split as your only source of heat. You might want to have a backup like gas or something like that. You should always have backups. I mean, I have mini splits. I have a, a central heat and air system. I have, I, of course, I have the little propane emergency heaters. And if you're interested, of course, in one of these mini splits, I have a link below where you can go ahead and go to Signature Solar and pick one up. And if you do use my links, you know, I do get a small commission off of that and you'll get a discount. You'll get $50 off any order over $500 basically just by using my links, you know, it's just a built-in discount. So you don't have to use a code anymore. And then it'll be tied to my affiliate account. And like I said, I try to do a giveaway every month when I have affiliate sales, I'll take a small uh, percentage of that and I'll go ahead and buy something for the community that is supporting me so I can support you. And the last couple of months have been able to give away some server rack batteries. So, you know, it has been some pretty good giveaways. So if you want to be 
able to join the contest. Uh, this month is probably a good month. Hadn't been a ton of sales this month, so it's going to be a lot less people in the drawing. And maybe we'll even give away a mini split. I think that's a good idea because we did server rack batteries the last couple of times, so maybe something a little different this time. And maybe we'll do a live stream tonight. I'm not sure yet. And, uh, you know, maybe just do a kind of a last minute one. I think the guys will probably going to do one next week, I'm guessing. And uh, it'll probably be on Eric's channel this time. He's probably going to be hosting. So if you like those live streams, hey, go subscribe to their channels as well. You know, Eric from East Texas Homestead and Adam from Adam Delay on YouTube. And remember, if you got any more questions, hey, let me know down in the comments below. That's why I made this video because I saw several comments asking what the power usage was, you know, in the cold. You know, so, you know, 25 degrees, pulling out 600 watts. I didn't test it in the middle of the night. I tested it when it was a little bit warmer. You know, I wish I would have tested it when it was like 15 degrees out here last night, but I just want, didn't want to do it in the middle of the night. So if you got more questions, of course, I'll make more videos on this. You know, just trying to get the information out so you can make a, a informed decision if a mini split might be right for you. I definitely think it's right for a lot of people. You know, it's a very good option because it's so energy efficient. And remember, if you like this kind of video, as my uh, inverters kick up, the sun must have came out. Got about 6,100 watts coming in on the 12K, so the fan kicked on. I don't even know if you can hear it. You might not be able to hear it, but... These things are very quiet until they really ramp up with the PV. So it's 1151. So basically the middle of the day. And I think the sun just came out, started shining pretty good. So it's supposed to be cloudy most of the day. So it probably won't be running very long. But hey, think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. And thanks for watching.